is Yidyu, it's your boy Tom back here with another video, and in this video today, guys, we're gonna be reacting to DBG talking about will NBA 2K24 my team and no money spent. Now, DBG and I do share different opinions on this. I think it could be the best year ever for no money spent players. He thinks it might be the end. So I'm really interested in hearing, you know, kind of why he does believe that and, uh, and and just talking about my opinions in this as well. Make sure to go subscribe to DBG and his DBG Clips channel, man. DBG, the My Team, go. Like, honestly, this year's My Team is a make or break. I agree. Like, it's honestly going to be either the best or the worst year. There's not going to be an in-between. So, like, if we look at um this right here, even from the start, this mode is the most pay-to-win my team has ever been. Is it, though? Like, if we think of last year, right, if you wanted to have the best squad in my team, Yao was 1.9 million MT, and the only way to get him was buying MT because you couldn't play the game and get it. So, like, I don't know if that's necessarily true. And... It doesn't even the playing field, but you want to know what it does do? Something that I really like care a lot about is that it's gambling is going to be dumb. I think that's true. I think that's true. Like there is, they're doing something different with packs, but I think like, that's if true. you are gambling this year, it's going to be a bad idea. It's going to be a terrible decision. There's not going to be a need to gamble at all. And when there's a like, when there's no need to gamble, it helps everybody, isn't it? It helps everyone. I mean, my whole thing with the player market is, if you don't want to buy the players, you don't have to. You can save your MT. Like, you uh, you, you can't. But the whole thing is, for anyone being like, oh, uh, the game's not pay to win. Lads, cards max out of Sapphires. See, the one player is max out of Sapphires. So you can see here, Tatum and Embiid are Sapphires, which means you're probably going to see a gold Wembenyama. As well as that, if you want to look at Steph Curry... Steph Curry is also a sapphire. And he's 6'2 for some reason. Steph Curry, for the first time ever, shrunk an inch. Salary, 500, though. Um, But if you pay, you get an... You get an amateur, you get I mean, yes. If you want to talk about pay to win being $10 a season, like, yes. Amy, or, or, or Ruby Giannis is going to be really, 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 really good. Okay, that like, there's no way around that like ruby Giannis uh, is gonna be good i guess that's yeah that's for the pro uh thing but like that uh, you don't need him right like when we're talking about having fun playing the game you do not need him you don't need anybody man you can go out there grind enough probably triple that offline domination to get enough mt for a decent squad you don't need to do any of this like the dbg is saying you don't need that you got a um ruby sorry Giannis. So like, get yes, Giannis is, might be the best card in the game, but that's not going to be your only option. Sapphire Giannis, normally, but if you pay money, you can get a Ruby Giannis. And I think that Ruby Giannis, if I'm not mistaken, is an 89 overall. I mean, like, yeah, not yes, but he's still going to be slightly better than, than the Sapphire. It probably won't be anything too crazy. And it's not like you have to spend hundreds of dollars on packs. Like, I, you don't have to spend money on the game. You could be no money spent. But it's like... I, it's ten dollars okay if you want to do it cool if you don't cool but it's Giannis. he's not gonna make or break your squad either he's not yeah Mistake. i promise I'm he's pretty not pretty sure that 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 Giannis out of the compo is an 89 so it's not even like they're uh is it anywhere cheaper i can't see it but yeah it's an 89 so he's four overalls higher than his other Giannis, which is going to be huge like, the gap, it's the gap between hit that and a diamond. So, yeah, it's a, um, it's, it's kind of a big thing that, like, we're getting the Giannis if you pay for it. As well as that, like, you get an Amethyst player, forgetting the Mamba edition, you get a free Amethyst player and multiple free rubies. Okay, but this is more like the, the pre-order bonus in the pro pack. I'm talking about playing the game and getting rewarded playing the game. I think you get way more rewarded for playing the game the way it sounds, and the auction house is removed. Okay, for nobody spent players, those two things are good. D would you rather have this, or would you rather have to spend hundreds of dollars day one to get any sort of MT? Because how else in the past were you getting any MT if you were nobody spent? 
oh, you could get a budget baller. No, there were not enough budget ballers, budget beasts out there. You either had to use, like, if you want to talk about day one, if you were a big baller, you'd have Amy Giannis, right, in the token market. Like, I'm just saying, like, it's, it's, from day one, it's always been, if you spend money on the game, you're going to have a better team. But I never spend money right away. You can grind it out. Like, you know, yes, Giannis, day one is going to look like the GOAT. But then in a week, you know, he's he's probably going to be surpassed. So, like, I wouldn't overreact to any of this. Like, yes, nobody spent. It's going to take you a while to get off the ground. But, it, it, like, the pre-order bonus, sure, it's it's okay for, for the pre-order bonus. But, again, these cards are eventually going to get surpassed. Who are going to be, like, better than all the current players? Yes, they will. A little bit annoying. They will. But that's for, what, a week, a day? Someone just said it's not pay to win since you now buy MT every card. So you can pay for every card in your lineup. Oh, sorry. So you can pay for every card. It's the most pay to win ever. Yeah, yeah, obviously. No, it's not, though. It's not. Because, like, the way you got to look at it, this, guys, is the majority of the people that are no money spent don't live on the auction house. Okay, they don't. They want to play the game, get rewarded for playing the game, and have fun. Just like I did on MLB The Show. Just like I have in Madden in the past. I don't spend money on those games. I just play and have fun doing it. And I'm hoping that's what 2K is going for. Sure, the prices might be more expensive, but if you have more and more MT... And save it, and are smart with it. You'll be just fine. Yeah, um, you'll be just fine. On the positive side, there's never you will not need open packs for the rest of the year. Again, that's a big positive. Is again, I think that my team is moving into a my team are moving away from packs. I think because um, if we think about it, like if we look at like legislation, it won't be illegal in America, but packs will be illegal outside Europe very very soon. Or say in Europe very, very soon. Outside America. Packs are going to be illegal. But they'll never be illegal to buy a product. So while it is basically a pay-to-win mobile game, there's no gambling. So I don't... I don't hate it. I don't hate it. And like the fact that the cards change values three weeks after, which means you literally, if you're going to sell them, just sell the cards right before they drop them. That's what I'm saying. I like that. I like, like, if you're no money spent, you know exactly when you're going to have to sell cards and exactly, like, you know, if you buy them day one, they're going to hold their value for three weeks. I like that. I like That's that. fine. I like that. Because you're sure you might lose a little MT, but you're going to be able to sell them and you know what you're getting yourself There's into. There's no real way to make MT by flipping, which is cool, I guess, but... There's not. You kind of are going to have game. to do stuff like that. You're going to have to... If you really like a card that's three weeks old, you might be able, you might just sell it and the new value might be cheaper. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's what you're going to have to do, um, basically. What I don't like is is cards' sell values decreasing. Actually, to be fair, it's, it says here their buy and sell values decrease to much better value. Okay, that makes sense. So their buy value drops to sell value drops. Like, there might be ways to. Um, it might literally um, be ways that you can sell a card and then buy it back later for cheaper, which is... That, that's probably what it's going to be like, as long as you know how the market works, though. Like, a lot of people won't, but that might be an issue, but... Interesting, I guess. See the only thing. Um, but I don't see... I don't see a situation where it's tough for no many spam players. Okay, so what is this video? I don't see a situation in which it's tough for no many spam players. That's exactly my whole point. It's good. So just said China ran the game for years. That's the thing. The coin sides did run the game for they years. They did. What, they did, and they made it impossible to be no money spent. They did. You know why I don't? I'm not gonna say the coin sides ran the game because the coin sides only ran the top tiers of the game. So man, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. You want to talk about Ruby Giannis being the best card in my team? Then let's talk about who was able, if you were no money spent, to have the best cards in my team. We want to look at cards. Let's talk about it because. Let's just look at updates and let's just go to a random one in January. So let's go Cosmic. Okay, it's trash. It wasn't a great drop. Yeah, I was gonna say let's trash. Let's go a good drop. Um, you know, Cosmic was good. So mm. the coin sites ran these three players right here. They ran Vince, Dirk, and they ran Hard. So why are we talking about Ruby Giannis? Like, if you're talking about top twenty cards in the game, like that's what Ruby Giannis is. You can't talk about him being a reason no money spent isn't isn't doable and then say on the flip side of things oh nobody spent was doable because these three cards weren't attainable for nobody spent like that you can't do that you can't do that because the other cards in this drop were not great 
Who are you going to gas up? Jason Terry? Jet Terry was like 7 KMT. And he was literally not a top 20 point guard in the game. Austin Reeves. These guys were like 1,000 MT. And Austin they weren't Reeves, good, Adrian though. Mo Taylor. But they weren't good. So so what is the point of that? Like, what is the point of that? What's going to basically happen is, this year, cheap cards are going to be more expensive than they were last year. Like, you're going to A be, little bit, yeah. It's going to be harder to get a whole cheap team of budget squads. Because, like, if you play the game and get rewarded, which basically is what 2K is saying, you're going to be fine. Like, that's what's going to happen. But at the same time, the most expensive cards are going to be more attainable. You're not going to be seeing 3 million MT for a Yao. You're not going to be seeing... And that's the like, thing that matters. I would be surprised if the players max out of $50. I think an individual player is going to max out of $50. Which is going to be like, what, 200k MT? And with that being the case, I'm going to buy some players. I hate the fact that I'm going to say it, but I probably am. It all depends on how a, um, how a no money spent series will do i'll try to do a no money spend series as well which could be interesting but i do think that it's going to be the more someone said you're going to feel like you're in a more team but you're not exactly exactly so like you're never going to be able to earn kobe bryant from playing and playing the game you're wrong. Never wrong 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 if last year i was able to make you know 15,000 MT in about for an hour playing the game. And this, you know, this upcoming year, I'm able to earn 30,000 MT in an hour. How am I not going to be able to buy a Kobe Bryant for 200,000 MT when I can earn him in 10 hours? Doesn't even make sense. I'm not going to be playing for 10 hours and then nobody spent. I'm just saying, like, it, it, yes, if you, it, I'm going to say it like this. If you have a job and you have kids and you have all this stuff going on, let me ask you this. How were you able to be no money spent in the past? By buying players for 1K MT and then going in unlimited and getting absolutely flooded? Like, it's going to happen again this year. Like, you got to have some time to either grind the game or you're going to have to, some, to spend a little bit of money to have a decent squad. But that's how it's always been. That's how it's always, always, always been unless you were able to buy MT. Nothing is going to change with that. Like, I don't know where this whole, oh, no money spent, you know, is, is gone now. Maybe for the people that were nobody spent that played for 10 minutes a day. Like, but they were never able to really do anything anyways. Like, good budget cards costed seven to 10,000 MT anyways. Like, and that's probably what they're going to cost this year. Never going to be able to earn, like, the best players. Disagree. Disagree. Like, you're, you're not, way, you're way, you're, most people are going to be way, they're going to be way more attainable. going to be able to earn, let's just say, Game starts off and there is a 92 overall Damian, 92 overall like Tatum. You're never going to be able to play the game enough to earn that 92 overall. Tatum. Wrong, 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 wrong. I've played this game so many times, and I'm going to say it like this. Let's say there's multiple dominations, okay? And I know most most people won't do dominations, but let's say people do dominations. If you complete, let's say, two dominations, you're going to have enough to get that diamond Jason Tatum. Now, I'm not saying that's what I would recommend doing because I hate grinding domination, but player locks in the game could be pretty easy to do. Boom. There you go. Like, this whole, this whole oh, you're never going to be able to do it? No, you will. You just got to spend an hour a day, you're going to be able to do whatever you want in this game if you are good at the game. If you're bad at the game, it's probably going to take you so long. But what do you guys want, okay? You guys don't want to spend money. You don't want to grind the game. You don't want to, you don't want to be good at the game. What do you guys want? You want to load up the game and automatically have the best team in the game? That's not how my team works. Like, it's not how no money spent has ever worked, to be honest. Ever. Whereas at least when it came to sniping, you might have been able to be lucky. 1% of the player base snipe, DBG. 1%. 1%. You got him. It is going to be impossible to get him. And also, it's gonna take e it's gonna be equally as much for playing the game. Like it's gonna take equally as long to get a budget squad. The only thing is that if you are somebody that's willing to spend, keep chipping in with a couple of 20, 30 quid a week, you're probably gonna be able to get one of the best squads in the game. But you don't need to. Like that's why I hate this whole analysis. You do not need to do that. So I'm gonna say why not? Like two K or four profit company, you're not gonna let people play their game and get stuff from it. Like, you can see right here. If I'm 2K, I want to increase my player base this year more than anything This is else. a Ruby card that sells for 28K. Okay, I get that, DBG. But what, it, you know, if you look in the past, what did Ruby cards go for on day one before? They were expensive, especially if Rubies are more valuable this year. You can earn XP agendas by just playing. Yeah, you get... 
a couple of cards in the way. But let's just say this Patrick Ewing card sells for 28k, which means his purchase price is going to be about 40k. Okay. Do you know how much it how long it takes to earn 20k even if it price it doubles from last year? It takes a long long No, it does not. No, it does not. It absolutely does not. If you know what you're doing, it absolutely does not. Um, I, it just does not. Long time to earn that empty play. This game. last year, yes, it did last year. But if you go back to 2K19, not long at all. Not long at all. So we're looking at a game where it's going to be a lot less gambling. And if you're willing to spend money, you don't have to spend in the tens of thousands to have a good team. You're going to have to spend little bits, which is annoying. Which is annoying. So basically, what's going to happen is the floor is going to be more expensive, but the ceiling is going to be lower. That's probably a valid take right there. That's probably valid. Like it's not, but that doesn't mean it's 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 worse for no money spent players because a lot of no money spent players don't just want to run rubies and and, and budget cards. They want to run the best cards, and this is they're going to be able to do it. As expensive to get the best players, but it's also going to be a lot harder to get a mid level team as a no money spent player. That's one of the things. AFK grinding a single player works. It might, you know, it might, but um. I don't know. I'm. I don't know how I feel about it. Like I like it in a way, and I don't in a way. I feel like DVG had a lot of valid points, but the whole thing is, I mean, th this is my opinion. A lot of people that play no money spend and have played no money spend, they don't want to sit all day on the auction house. They also don't want to run just budget get by squads either. They want the potential to get a really good squad. And this year, I think you're able to do it. So drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're doing it as always, man. I love you guys. And have a blessed day.